Hello everyone, I'm still Linking X2 and today it's a live reaction for the draft between Down One Kier and C9. It's the first game of this year's MSI, so let's get right into it. So, here we see we start with a Thrash Ban. Thrash Ban, obviously, very potent pick at the moment as his W is amplifying the possibilities of many hyper carries. Then listen, a bit of a strange pick to be sure, but. Blabber has been playing him a lot in solo queue on the other side. Rumble and, and Nidalee. Nidalee, notably a pick that Canyon is very good at. I mean, he has his own skin on her. Rumble, it is a pick that has grown in priority after the buffs to his overheat and actually can be played in a multitude of positions. Then we see the Senna ban, which is a bit strange coming from Damwon Kia as Ghost is one of the better Senna players in the world. And lastly, Jace. Khan has not played Jace a lot in recency, but obviously a pick that he's very famous for. And also can sh shove in into the mid lane with AD mid laners being more prevalent at the moment. Then we see the Morgana first pick. Morgana obviously if you have played any solo queue at the moment or looked at the stats, a terrifyingly fast clearing jungler. And yeah, AP junglers are also on the horizon. It is also a flex pick actually in all positions if you want to play it in the lanings. On the other side, we see Varus. Varus, a bit more of a situational pick, uh, in my opinion at least, but still very strong with his long range. Can be quite versatile as he can go attack speed versus tankier matchups and continue with the lethality uh, long range style. Uh, next to him is Kindred. Kindred more on the side of helping him with the lethality build as she with her ultimate can, yeah, work well against tanks and bruisers that normally the lethality virus would not be too great against and also she offers more of the consistent damage that they would then be lacking. Then Jin and Leona very strong 2v2 in the bot lane and with their lockdown so against the immobile uh, champion that is virus that is very good but it negates the Morgana flex option. It's fine I mean everyone would expect Morgana to go into the jungle in the first place. Then we see Tom Kench Paired up with Varus. Tom Kench maybe not the best support, but in this case, against the Dark Binding and the tons of pick potential that Damwon Kia already have elected, I think it's quite good. And yeah, their champions are very volatile against the yeah, pick and CC lock. Then we see the band phase here, second band phase, Renekton. Renekton not only versus Khan, but also versus Showmaker, who has played it in mid in the LCK finals, I believe. So yeah, that's ban in that direction. Obviously, it's not really a good champion against what C9 has, so C9 actually can deal with it quite good. But Renekton and Morgana is actually a very terrifying duo. Um, it's a new iteration of like the Elise Renekton, the Nidalee Renekton. So yeah, that's a strong top 2v2. Strange though, because Damon Kia is not really playing too much around Khan, more about the mid jungle. So Oriana here versus Perks. For him personally, it is not super strong champion. And again, uh, compositionally, yes, it would work well with the uh, Kindred as it would be another champion that is uh, versus Engage. But Oriana is actually being kinda outranged here by Damwon Kia's comp, so it's not the perfect man. Lulu, very powerful pick. Yes, the nerfs uh, did come in. I believe that is the patch at the moment. So she's not as oppressive as she was before, but still, yeah, supporting uh, Varus and yes you might be thinking okay Tom Kench already elected now uh, Lulu can go in the top lane and in the mid lane as well although it would be very strange for Perks to see it in the mid lane. Lucian here another uh, AD champion that would work well in solo lane with the Morgana and it's quite decent again it can also go into the top lane so these bands are double effective in a sense as they work in two lanes Again, though, just pausing the video, uh, pausing hit here. Lucian would also be a bit more short range, so he would not work as well into the virus. So, yeah, these bands, they have some reasoning to it, but I think in the heat of the moment, they're not fully fleshed out. So, yeah, maybe they didn't expect the Morgana. I'm not sure. Uh, then continue. We see the Victor here. Victor again on the theme with their champions, so C9. Their comp works well together and yeah, Victor Blind is a more of the yeah, safer side with his yeah, longer range and wave clear. 
Zoe here also on theme with the poke and with the long range. Their comp does like DPS now by quite a bit. And yeah, the good thing for them is C9 has not really elected too many tanks yet, which yeah, could be problematic. And their burst is actually more helpful versus the Kindred Ultimate. But yeah, it is more vision reliant as they also not really as obviously a pick comp with vision setup is way better and yeah they can't actually play the game if they should fall behind yeah that's the nature of the game and remember uh, from uh, solo queue games maybe if a zoe has fallen behind she's quite used to it. then we see the nar nar a bit of a sad pick but top laners especially korean ones do think that he is blind pickable which I obviously do not agree. There are an abundance of counters in here. Uh, the counters that would work well with C9's comp here, there are quite a few actually. C9 could look uh, to add dive to their comp because now um, they have long range, they have stand ground abilities with Tom Kench and the Kindred Ultimate. But the problem is still that they have no engage to then counteract down one Kia. So, down one Kia doesn't really want to engage into them. Uh, it's the opposite. They want to, yeah, barrage them with long range spells and then, yeah, kill them from long range as well. So C9 is outranged. Yes, they stand their ground really good versus engage, but there is no engage on Down one Kia's side, which is obviously a major problem, as then their champion effectiveness is significantly decreased. So they should now be looking for some engage in the top lane some engage that is good into NAR and Fudge has played would be obviously the uh, Malphite. Malphite versus these champions can still be a bit tricky, especially with the existence of the Black Shield from Morgana. But we have to wait and see what they end up. Maybe they have prepared something different. Um, also interesting versus this uh, in terms of stand ground comp would be the Orn. Orn versus NAR is also a very good matchup for uh, the Orn. But yeah, that's probably also my personal preference. Now we get the Gangplank. Gangplank obviously the best top laner in the game at the moment. And his matchup against Nar is more skill dependent because of the uh, barrel timings. But overall, even if the laning phase is not doing all too great in the later stages, especially in the team fight, the champion is obviously way harder to operate. Um, if yeah, Fudge has some decent mastery on it, his ultimate with the slow can be very good here in terms of yeah again slowing these immobile poke champions down but now we have the next problem again there is no engage to then follow up on the slow so gangplank another champion that yeah also fulfills the role of standing your ground right you don't want to engage with gangplank right gangplank combos forward are way harder and against these um, long range champions are very very difficult to execute reliably so yeah gangplank is also a champion that wants the enemy to come into him so this is again on theme c9's comp is very cohesive but the problem here is against down one kia's comp their champions are not really able to utilize their strengths well and if down one kia is able to be ahead or like at even stages at most where they can make use of the range with adequate vision control it will be very very hard for c9 to answer this right how do they engage they don't so then you might ask in terms of scaling scaling wise kindred and uh, gangplank do obviously scale uh, way harder than their counterparts in the ad carry department um, attack speed varus would scale better than um, than the Jin. But it will uh, it won't be attack speed powers in this case. Uh, it will be lethality one, which also in this specific case here would scale somewhat decent against no uh, real tank frontline. But the uh, the question again is how reliably can he really make use of his uh, damage in terms uh, in comparison to Jin, who has you know, way more uh, chances to make use of his damage. So while the damage of a full uh, lethality virus in the late game especially against the low armored comp of down kia is there in the end it is more situational uh, how he is able to apply it then uh, 
mentioning the lethality. Then we also see a Kindred and a Gangplank. So C9's comp is very loaded with physical damage. So the few tankier champions on Damon Kia's side, the support Leona and the like Bruiser Nar, I can actually like, go for more tankier build. Uh, in my opinion, Nar should not go for any Bruiser-like build where he seeks to fight the Gangplank. Uh, that's not really helpful. A more um, tankier build could actually be very good against the physical damage on C9 side. This will obviously help Perks personally because he will be on the, the only source of magic damage. But again, Victor is a champion that is also like Gangplank, like Kindred, like they all moving backwards, wanting the enemy to come in. The blue champion, if you know about the champion colors. And there is nothing that really is moving into him. So his damage application will also be a lot harder than usually um, Victor's wanted to be. Might want to talk about the individual lane matchups a bit more. I already mentioned top lane, so that's a bit of a wishy-washy. It depends on um, on the uh, polar keg positioning that is uh, that Fudge is doing. But in the end, it's a, if it's a more of a meaningless matchup. As I mentioned, now should go tank and should not really seek to fight. As in the long run, Gangplank will always outscale him and will always beat him. So yeah, and he, tank now will be way more useful here as he can then peel more against non-existent engage. Uh, in the jungle matchup, Kindred and Morgana. So Kindred is winning in the 1v1s, but Morgana is not really seeking the 1v1s. Uh, she is a very strong ganking champion and her clear speed is insane. It's the strongest clear speed there ever was maybe, I don't know. Uh, pre nerfs, right? This is uh, with nerfs. But it's insane, so she will uh, out clear, out farm her, and then will probably have better gank setups with yeah the mid lane, the double bubbles, and the bot lane with already abundance of CC. So even if Tom Kench eats the virus, Tom Kench then can't move, and either virus then has to flash out of the Tom Kench or just die with Tom Kench. And then already talking about the bot lane, Tom Kench virus. Yes, virus is a very good laning champion, but Tom Kench in comparison. Yeah, if he's not played on the highest level, it will be very difficult to exert a good amount of pressure. While on the other side, Leona is the exact opposite. It's very easy with her to do a lot in the laning phase. But both uh, sides obviously seek to yeah, play a bit more on the backside. But if Varus gets his first uh, serrated Dirks, he will obviously have the stronger uh, yeah, ADC on their side. Mid lane. Uh, we mentioned this matchup uh, abundant uh, in the past because it's very common. Zoe is the aggressive version. Um, she's even more aggressive than Sundra in most cases, even though she is colorless in her champion theme versus the victor. She will uh, have the pressure, especially considering the global state of the game, right? Mid lane is very dependent on that support timings and the jungle matchup and the jungle clear dynamic. So I uh, would assume that the Zoe here will have the advantage of that. So that's quite a bit, but I wanted to cover every uh, detail that I could think about at the top of my head. So then, yeah, hope you all enjoyed this. If you have any idea of a draft or a game that I should talk about in the future, or you really uh, are excited for something, then let me know in the comments down below. I am sure to respond shortly. And I believe we can set that up right away. That's it for today though. I wish you all a great day and have fun with future MSI content. So yeah, see you around.